hi all welcome back so today we are going to explore the Appian Academy once okay so in the Appian Academy when you will go to the learn tab okay so there you will find you like different types of learnings are available okay uh, learning journey is there courses are there certifications Academy is there YouTube link is there so all of them are present here now when you will go on the featured courses so there I found that they have a new POC that is present there uh, okay different types of projects are there and here it is nothing but Appian developer project build an IT application so I have already clicked on enroll now and here it is how it looks welcome to the developer project okay so here they have tried to define like what is the project is about the structure of the project they have even talked us about the sample user story like okay so it is going to follow an agile method of development it means different user stories will be there sprints will be there so that also we will try to see like how uh, it will uh, work out with ours okay so everything starts with sprint zero so they have also started with this one and defined the requirements of the project here now you know like uh, this story has been mentioned so we also have to note down the story somewhere so in order to make it more interactive with you all what I have done here is that I have actually created a complete JIRA board here okay and in that board I have listed on all the stories that they have already mentioned in the courses here whatever the things they have mentioned I have tried to put it all the stories here okay and whenever we click on any show like for example view asset is there and here I will be able to see like a okay any story obviously it is in product backlog see if you are not aware about him like a zero or the agile method that's completely fine along with the course one by one we will try to see and here you can see you know, like a description I have written whatever the description that they have given the same description here even I have written that okay and then story acceptance criteria so I have created subtasks for the story and once we will you know like uh, complete the subtask then we will mark it as completed so it will be you know, like much more user friendly and a good learning journey for all of us okay uh, 12 user story are there so we will try to create a uh, work on the same way here okay so if you see here in the like for example sprint has started sprint one and now how the sprint planning is going on okay what are the different record types even they have mentioned like which record type to actually create here how to view the assets okay first story is like view assets like what is the acceptance credit everything we will try to see it in detail here what are the different stories we are going to work the different subtask we will uh, try to complete for each user story so all the 12 st user story is going to be like this one so uh, it is a new way of learning but it will be much more interactive okay this time uh, okay the next thing is that this is how our application will something look like whatever they have uh, tried to build this is how it is going to look like at the end so it is you know like uh, two things are there uh, the total they have three stories here if you see total three stories are given asset management is there IT central and request management management and IT metrics there so one is asset like you will be able to create and update an asset and second is that you will be able like say like a, I have a laptop now it is not working I need a new laptop so a request I should have to make it so that I will get a new laptop so both the things are made here and see here as well for example IT central and asset management is there like you can add a new asset this is how the application of new asset is going to look like we can add a workstation we want we can add a monitor we want or we can add a headset we want okay so from here we can add a new asset the next thing here is that once an asset is added then you know like on that same asset you can you know, like any request have been there so there is a separate page for requests as well or all what all the request that has come and then there is a central page like let's say like I want to request but what you want to request do you want to request a device so you can uh, select a device you can select the priority and you can write any description you want okay same goes for password assistance and audio visual help as well let's say like I want to repair my asset so which device to repair as of now I have two assets assigned to me so it is saying like you want Mac to repair MacBook or Samsung it will automatically fit the data for the uh, that particular user so all of this uh, you know like learning is there 
one other learning is that this time we are going to use database approach of tasks generally we have used you know like a process report and task report for the task but this time we are going to use database approach of task and different persona is going to be you know, like uh, working on this one here so a lot of different persona are there so different views will be created for different persona here so that also we will try to see so you can see here for asset management requirements we have managers obviously like employees because we are doing this for employees and then supervisors are there then for the request management we have still employee because employees will create the request and then this is one more person is added here that is the technicians because technicians will actually work on the uh, what requests so like this it is there okay so all of this one we will try to see in our this POC and we will try to make it working from the database approach this side okay so that was the overview about this one okay we will try to uh, start working on the assets part here okay so that was all in this for now thank you